And that concludes our feature film tonight, Robot Land. It's extraordinary. A dreamland for robots, Robot Land. Oh, it's time for bed now, Astro. Yes, Mom. Good night, Mom. Good night, Dad. Good, Good night, night, Astro. Astro. Well, have you done your homework for uh, tomorrow? Not yet. Now, come on. We've just started primary school. We've got a ways to go before we catch up with the rest. I don't think I like studying very much. Now, dear, please, don't let Astro hear you say that. Huh? Hmm. Now, where did my school books go? Hmm. Something's happened outside! Astro, where do you think you're going? A swan. This is terrible. We'd better call the vet. Now, what was the vet's number? Hmm. Why, dear, this swan is a robot. Hmm. What? Princess Odette, I've run away from Robot Land. What? From Robot Land? But why? Robot Land is such a horrible place. <laughs> now I've found you, Princess Odette. Now come back with me to Robot Land. Come along with me, Odette. Oh! Hey, what do you think you're doing? Kid, what's your name? My name's Astro. Ah, oh, so you're Astro. Well, I'm the Devil King. You won't stop me like you did Atlas. Stop! Whoa! See what I mean? <laughs> huh? Princess Odette! Astro, are you sure you were just dreaming? You know robots don't dream. Well, hmm. Let's see. Can't say I ever heard of any trouble at Robot Land. Tell you what, Professor Hyde is in charge there. Why don't we go there together and see what's going on? Oh, boy! Astro, look! Over there is Robot Island. Now about this Professor Hyde, he used to be a colleague at the Ministry of Science, uh, but... He left suddenly about 20 years ago. And here he is again, a successful businessman. I'm looking forward to seeing him again. <laughs> Darn, I don't want to meet that elephant. I was always second in everything on account of him, even though I had more than he did. Maybe he's come to search for the secret of this island. No, he wouldn't even dream of a thing like that. He's not that clever. Welcome to Robot Land, a land of dreams and fantasy. There's fun for one and all. The 
this place is simply astounding. It is like a land of dreams. Well, Professor Elephant, it's been a very long time. Professor Hyde, yes, a long time indeed. And this is Astro. Oh, so you're the famous Astro. I'm very honored to meet you. Hi. Well, come this way. I'll give you the grand tour. Professor Hyde, you've created something extraordinary here. It's marvelous. Well, it was my lifetime dream as a robot engineer. I see. I've tried to recreate the fairy tales of the world here. I wanted to preserve the fantasy lands that are now disappearing from people's minds. They're a treasure that should be saved. It's all so magnificent, but it must have cost a fortune. I have spent everything I have ever made from my inventions. Oh, mirror, mirror on the wall. Out of my way. Oh, mirror, mirror on the wall. Who's the greatest robot engineer of them all? Why, you, Professor Hyde, are the greatest robot engineer of all. <laughs> and so I am. <laughs> oh. Dr. Elephant, let me show you the rest of my robot factory. Ah, monsters just being completed. Ooh, scary looking, aren't they? What's this? No, make them look more scary. Or more scary, I say. Ooh. Now see, do this. Aha, a lot better. That's not very nice. No one wants to be ugly. Astro's right, Professor Hyde. You mustn't make robots your personal toys. Watch that. Me make toys out of them? No, I'd never do anything like that. You, are you dissatisfied with your work? No, we're satisfied. We were made to do this work. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> See what I mean? Just as I told you. Tell me, do you really like the way you look? Come on, tell me the truth. This is Dr. Elephant from the Ministry of Science. Go ahead, tell him. He'll understand. You're afraid of something, aren't you? How dare he say such a thing? Doctor, take that insolent little robot away. There's very little we can do, Astro. Hmm. These robots are owned by Professor Hyde, and unless we have proof that they are being treated badly, there's nothing we can do. Oh, what a beautiful swan. Oh, Princess Odette. Princess Odette, I've come to rescue you. Dr. Elephant, she'll tell you the truth. I know she will. Princess Odette, is it true that awful things are happening to you here? Please tell me. You must speak. Please tell us the truth. Then all of you can be saved. Dr. Elephant! What are you doing? You're still trying to brainwash my robots. Stop immediately or I'll call the police. But Princess now, Odette can become like a human at 12 o'clock. Let's wait until then. She'll tell us everything. I just know she will. Nonsense. Take that robot away. Do you hear me? Take that robot away. I don't have to put up with this. I've had enough. I'm leaving. Let's go home, Astro. Yes, let's go. Dr. Elephant, don't go, please, help us. <laughs> I'm Prince Siegfried. Evil things are happening here. Astro is right. You, you're Devil King himself. Ah, this will teach you. Ah! Next. <laughs> Astro, stop! Professor Hyde, I insist that you stop this immediately. <laughs> Devil, stop. Mr. Elephant, this monster kidnapped Princess Odette. 
Professor Hyde, is Astro telling the truth? <laughs> I don't know what he's talking about. Well, then, what was it that you did to Prince Siegfried? Tell me, I want to know. It's all part of the game. <laughs> or shall we say the show? Now, don't take it so seriously. Come on. You have nothing to fear. You're acting like a child. Astro, let's go. I can't stay in this ridiculous place anymore. It's not funny. What's wrong, Astro? No more energy? Too bad. <laughs> Roll call. Roger? Here. Alvin? Here. Astro? Astro? So, Astro's absent, huh? Sick? Do robots get sick? Oh, Billy's just skipping clear. <laughs> <laughs> One word. Everyone quiet while I'm gone. What? Astro in trouble in robot land and all by himself, you say? Yes, and he must have been caught by Professor Hyde. <laughs> oh, no! I'm afraid so. I got a call this morning. It was you who sent Astro to my island, isn't it true, Dr. Elephant? Huh? Astro? Don't lie to me, Elephant. You never liked my robots. So you sent Astro to stir them up, turn them against me. I have done no such thing! That's all, Doctor. Goodbye for now. So that's how it is. Well, let's get over there right away. Thanks, I knew you'd help. Good, the teacher's gone. John, he went to Robot Land without us, leaving us here to study on our own. He went to Robot Land to save Astro, I bet. I'm gonna rescue him too. Huh? Alvin, don't. Kenneth, I'll go get Alvin. Wait a minute, Alvin! Alvin! Wait a minute! Hey, Teddy, are you trying to stop me? No, no, I wanna go with you, Alvin. Ooh. All right, let's go. Huh? Oh, no, you've got to take all of us. We're all in this together. Yeah! Now, listen, surely you don't think Astro came here to wreck things, do you? Astro's a good boy in class. He wouldn't do such a thing. Good boy, my foot. How dare you let such a violent robot loose? Hey, you take that back. I'm not going to stand here and take this. I tell you, Astro's a good boy! Well, no wonder if his teacher's violent, too. Who are you? If you so much as lay a hand on me, I'll call the police. Now, Professor Hyde, Daddy Walrus didn't mean anything, really. Dr. Elephant, you're the Minister of Science and also the engineer responsible for Astro. He's broken the law by entering my robot land and wrecking the facilities here. I don't care who he is. Article 136 of the Robot Act. The robot is to be scrapped, and the man responsible for him will be punished, too. Now, if I report this to the authorities, Astro will be turned into a worthless pile of metal, and you'll lose your position as minister. <laughs> Here's Robot Land. Aren't they going to spot us? Well, I brought my skin diving outfit with me. That's good thinking, Alvin. Please, Professor Hyde, I beg of you, please. I'll do anything in my power, please. Hmm, anything? Then you must destroy Astro. What? Destroy, destroy Astro? Astro? Yes, if you do that, I won't report you. You can keep your job as Minister of Science. Uh, you scoundrels! <laughs> I wonder what that is. <laughs> 
Let's see. A secret escape hole. Looks like a submarine cargo boat. Maybe for carrying cargo to robot land. But why a submarine then? Let's take a look inside. Huh? huh? Missiles. So that's what they're making. What's that there? Huh? So this is what Robot Land's all about. The robots are made to produce weapons. And that submarine takes them to foreign countries. Let's go. Huh? Let me out! Let me out of here! Quiet. We'll let you out. Only after we turn you into a little metal doll. Someone's being held prisoner. Astro, huh? I don't think so. Listen. Hmm? Princess Odette is waiting for me. Let me out of this place! Shut up! Huh? Who's that? Huh? Hi. Hey! You! Stop! Whoa. Oh. 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 Hurry, come out! Thanks, but who are you? We are all friends of Astro. Please hurry and take us to where he is. Well, Dr. Elephant, get on with it. Destroy your robot. Astro, I, I can't do it. I just can't do it. Why, it's just a robot. Go ahead and get it over with. Professor Hyde, how can you do this? Don't you have a heart? Oh, shut up. I have given my word. If he destroys Astro, I won't say anything. I can't. Professor Hyde, I don't want to protect my position at the sacrifice of Astro's life. Huh. A good guy, huh? All right, I'll shoot him. Give that to me. Look. No. Stop! Huh? What are you kids doing? We've, We've come, come to save Astro. Astro. Why, you fools, you're supposed to be at school now. Keep out of the way. Sir, we found something very important. You must come and see it. What's that you say? This island is a secret weapon factory. Missiles and laser guns are being made. What's that? What's the meaning of this? Hmm. So you've seen that, hmm? I see now. Yes, of course, of course I see it. This island might very well have cost a fortune. But by making weapons and selling them to the highest bidder, you could easily have paid for it all. Isn't that right, why, you? That's right. Now that you know, you die. <laughs> Oh, I've been waiting for this chance. Take this and that, you scoundrel! <laughs> Devil King! <laughs> Devil King, take them away and kill them. None of them will escape, Professor. <laughs> All right, let's rescue Astro! Darn those robots! Devil King, get them! Astro... There. Thanks a lot! Stop that! No, you're back for more! I won't let you get away! Nothing! Whoa! I'll make you suffer for this!
devil. My precious devil king. So what now, my robots? What are you going to do to me? We're not slaves. We refuse to obey you. Robot land belongs to me. We're free. Freedom. You're my slaves, freedom. I tell you. Freedom, 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 freedom. Robot Land has become a comfortable place to live. We're all doing well. Please visit us with your friends and family. Sincerely, Siegfried, Princess Odette. Yes, thank you, Odette. I will. This is the Robot Manufacturing Center at the Ministry of Science. They make thousands of robots here. One day, a thunderstorm activated an unfinished robot, Frankenstein. If that wasn't trouble enough, Skunk's gang tried to use Frankenstein to help them steal. And that meant trouble for robots everywhere. Tune in next time for Frankenstein. So long! for you.